Hey friends, today we are continuing my 12 days till Christmas countdown where I vlog every single day until Christmas day and I'm so excited. We're gonna hang around my town, do some grocery shopping and then we're gonna head over to Gaylord Palms and see all of their Christmas activities they got. And also I planned on meeting up with some friends and maybe going to Epcot later on. So we're gonna eat some food, ride some rides and we only have eight days left till Christmas. Anywho's, let's go do this. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. You wanna get uh, some breakfast? You want some breakfast? I don't do many home videos, like home vlogs, but I figured it would be nice to kind of add it into the mix. During the 12 days of Vlogmas, I uh, kind of want to go to all the theme parks. So I went to Magic Kingdom already, and Hollywood Studios, I want to hit up Universal, but I only have like three days until I have to hit the road and then drive to Pennsylvania. So we're going to try to get as many parks as we can get done before the holiday season ends. This is the food Gracie likes to eat. I just switched her about uh, two or three months ago and she's obsessed. Gracie, you want breakfast? What? <laughs> you want this? Yo, Gracie's losing her mind over there. Ooh, breakfast is served. Ooh, here we go. There you go. That actually looks so good, I can eat it. It's made with real chicken, they say. My mornings with Gracie are one of the things I could never live without. I cherish these moments every single morning. I love getting up and we're like, all right, let's go. We have such a great routine. We like to go visit different dog parks in the area, uh, but uh, we do have a couple of reoccurring favorites that we like to go to. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a little walkie and uh, then uh, we're gonna start our day. Ooh, look at Lightning McQueen here. I love hearing Gracie as she runs. She's like, do, 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 Gracie, are you trying to dig a big hole here? Look at this. Holy moly. This is a group effort. I don't think this is one dog. I feel like they've all been scratching away. And this one's starting to form now. What? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, watch the hole. <laughs> What's this? Come here. What? Now that me and Gracie got to spend time at the dog park, we're gonna make our way to Gaylord Palms. This is a hotel right next to Walt Disney World, and uh, they're doing a really special ice event. I don't know if I need a reservation or not, uh, but uh, it's free to go there. I think you have to pay to park. Uh, it's, I think it's like $35 to pay to park, so if you can Uber, Uber there. But it's very beautiful. People said a lot of amazing things, and I just wanna go uh, gander and take a look-see. And if we can't get in we can't get in but I just want to go there I've never been there before I have to make a quick stop at Publix here because I gotta pick up some things everybody loves a Publix trip I mean I thought about getting a pub subwise here but it's too early for that Publix has no business being so good at the cookie game they have so many great flavors of cookies I always come in and check look at these beauties Wow, it's a cookie platter. And then they got cranberry honey cookies, Heath bar cookies, chocolate chip, chocolate chip with M&Ms. And then over here, you've got vegan oatmeal raisin, chocolate, pecan chocolate. Yeah, Calypso Crunch Bites. Oh, black and whites. One of the places I've always wanted to eat was Rayo's. It's a restaurant in New York, but it's invite only. And look, they actually have soup here. It's so funny how I'm vlogging soup. <laughs> but I really want to eat at this restaurant one day. So if anybody knows how to get in, let me know. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. Is it Rayo's, Rouse? I don't know, whatever it is, they make really good uh, uh, Sunday gravy and I love it. And we have made it to Gaylord Palms and this hotel is huge. Look at this. And Disney World, well the, the big Walt Disney World welcome sign is literally right on this road. So when you drive under it, you're right next to this Gaylord Palms. And I've always wanted to come in here and today's my first time. The tropical storm is still in the area, so we have gray skies and uh, on and off rain showers. So hopefully the day just stays clear and maybe we can do some other fun stuff. Uh, maybe head back in and 
go to one of the parks. The entrance to this lobby is amazing because you get this grand reveal of the atrium. Look at that. Wow, it's so beautiful in here. I can see the Christmas tree up there. And this is where all the rooms are. You can actually stay here in these rooms and you overlook this. They even have a bunch of alligators in the lobby itself or the atrium. I think that's what you call this, an atrium. Just chilling, a couple of turtles down there too. So you, you can like literally stay in one of these rooms and just overlook gator springs here. This whole place is like a rainforest. It is free to come to Gaylord Palms, but you do have to pay to park. And I'm pretty sure all of the like activities that they have going on, you can pay to do, but uh, you can just walk around, buy the food. Like I know that there's uh, like tube slides in there that you can pay to do, and then there's the ice exhibit uh, with peanuts. And uh, I'm gonna see if we can do some of them or if you need reservations. I'm kind of just going with the flow. Honestly, I'm kind of already captivated because it looks like a regular convention like a convention center in a hotel but then it literally like transforms into a Christmas like village it is so cool I am so impressed by this look at this this is what I'm excited for okay I'm impressed now they got snow I kind of want to do the tube slides. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> they have photo opportunities with Mrs. Claus, a gingerbread uh, building shop, and then tons of uh, other cool things that you can do and shop. A little candy store here. I really feel like I'm a... Uh, at the North Pole. I want some peppermint bark. Ah, oh, Christmas cookies. I can't wait to get to Pennsylvania and get a Linzer from the Manuka Bakery. I'm glad that we went to the Gaylord Palms and I definitely want to go back and check out all the activities. I think it's nifty how you can just go in there and uh, it's free, you know what I mean? Well, to parking, the parking is where they get you. That's where they get you and they did, they got me. They got me good. We decided to make a trip to Epcot and hopefully the storm stays away. Right now it's kind of just really cold out. The worst thing about like tropical storms during December is it's actually cold. Festival of the holidays is so great because like on chilly nights like this, I just generally want to come to Epcot and hang out like around World Showcase. Maybe I'll get a Linzer cookie. Ah, maybe I'll get a teaser. The sky is literally the perfect color for Spaceship Earth right now. And I'm excited to actually go to the uh, new area and see it light up again. There are no Guardians of the Galaxy uh, lightning lanes or virtual queues available. My friend Jason wants to ride Test Track, so maybe we might ride Test Track through like the single rider. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna hang out, just kinda have a nice night. Nice cozy night at Epcot. That's not cozy at all. <laughs> uh, why is the line so big for Spaceship Earth? I think everybody agreed on actually going to get tacos at the quick service in Mexico. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we're going to grab some tacos and then head on into La Cava for chips and guac and then maybe the Grand Fiesta tour. This is one of my favorite quick service locations and it's got great views too. I got the taco trio, so you get one, uh, I think it's steak, one chicken, one shrimp. And look at that, look at this view. Isn't this so cool? And I love all the Christmas lights too. Tacos with a view, this is a good spot to watch the fireworks, but people usually sit here for a long time. I think I already had this before. I actually uh, normally just get the chicken ones, but I, I don't think I like the shrimp one. I got the trio thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna want all three of them, but I remember last time I didn't like the shrimp as much, so the other ones are pretty good though, but this one's good, especially with the rice. I think we're gonna make our way up to test track. Ooh, wow, that was timed perfectly. The monorail just coming into view. 
Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can ride test track real quick. Wow, look at that. Look at the reflections on the water. It's amazing what some neon lights can do. 90 minutes for test track. Look at the single rider line. Oh, or that might be the lightning lane. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna wait it out. I don't want to wait 90 minutes. It is very busy the closer we get to Christmas Day. But it's great that now we can just go from one side of the park to the other because now I think we're going to go try to see what's in the land and we can just walk straight through instead of going around. Going in and around. Because the new area is open, uh, we can just walk straight through. In the past, when the walls were up, we had to go to the left or the right and then walk around. And we get to see it all lit up at night too. Oh, I think the show's starting. The ground is lighting up. I'm creeping in. Yo, this is so great walking through here. Do you see the Mickeys in the Spaceship Earth? The only uh, wait time that is kind of decently low is the C's. 15 minute wait. And that's probably just the queue because it's like a long walk just to get on the ride. I love this ride and I also love actually going to the aquarium afterwards and seeing the manatees. So we'll see what they're doing. We'll see what they're up to afterwards maybe. Thanks. We gotta get into a show here. Woo! 15 minute wait, but there's a lot of people in front of me that have empty shells. I mean, a lot of empty shells in front of me. Stop playing games! Oh. Yes, I love games! Woo. I'm thinking of something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon! Ah, jellyfish! Right! Okay, now I'm thinking of something pink and a balloon. That's jellyfish! <laughs> Him over there. What a gentle sea cow. I love it. They got some leaves up there. I wonder if I can see him a little better over here. It's like a magnifying glass. Oh, it makes me dizzy. I'm happy that we got to ride uh, Finding Nemo. Now, I think we're just gonna scoot right across the way and go uh, see Figment. Got to see Nemo, now Figment. I wish we could hang out in here. You know, I remember one time we got to go back there and sign the cool book. It was really cool. I mean, I love it in here. I just like the colors. Kind of reminds me of McDonald's a little bit. I always like pointing out Buzz Lightyear too. Look at him sitting in the cage there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Cheney, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. It's figment. Figment? I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. Nuh-uh. Imagination works best when it's set free. <laughs> Oh, 
the cookie one. Cookie. Often trigger the imagination, especially when pleasant, familiar smells come into play. Come into play? <laughs> I'd love to. Fremont, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll. Noticed that test track went down to a 20 minute wait while we were on uh, Figment. It says 55! It says 55, but that is a huge improvement. So I don't know, it might actually be lower. thought I was gonna lose my hat on that ride. I don't think I've ever lost a hat to Test Track. I know Guardians I have and Everest I have, but I don't, I don't know about Test Track. I think we're gonna actually start making our way out of the uh, park and uh, heading home to see Gracie Girl. It's been a fun day though, I tell you that. We decided to stop at the Polynesian so we can get some food over at the Tambu Lounge. You can basically get the whole entire Ohana menu, but without uh, the meat. So we're going to get some Ohana noodles, some pot stickers, some wings, and maybe even some bread pudding. I wish the Polynesian had more Christmas decorations, though. That's the only thing. It doesn't have many decorations, only that one little tree. Wow, we got a nice seat right at the Tambu Lounge. You got the Baltimore Jacksonville game on. Fancy. I got the watermelon lemonade, but I got it with sparkling water instead of lemonade. And it's actually really nice, very refreshing. I've been on a sparkling water kick recently, and I can't wait for the Ohana noodles and bread pudding to come. Oh, Ohana noodles. California roll, pot stickers, buffalo wings. They actually have buffalo wings here now. Look at this. Wow. These noodles are the best things ever. 
It's so good, man. Everything's amazing. I love a good, nice, crispy pot sticker. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. And of course, you gotta pour the sauce. Oh! There we go. And with that, I think that is a wrap for the vlog. Ah, uh, I gotta say, this Vlogmas is, uh, like I said, it's getting challenging. It's getting tricky, especially uh, just a, the constant repeat of film, edit, and uh, I have to give it up to those who actually go out and do this every day. I mean, there's some vloggers that have been daily vlogging for years and years, and... Uh, it's 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 a lot harder than than it looks, and uh, I kind of like it though. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. It's fast paced, and you keep yourself very busy, and uh, it's actually good for you. You know what I mean? You want to keep going and keep moving. Uh, but uh, yeah, anywho's. Uh, that's it, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'm so excited, like I said, we got some big things planned, and hopefully we can get to uh, Animal Kingdom, uh, at least. Maybe, maybe, hopefully. But, anywho's, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!